For more now on the ruling today by the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal, we're joined now by Cindy Blackstock, the Executive Director of the First Nations Child and Family Caring Society. Cindy, thanks for taking the time. Uh, the First Nations Child and Family Caring Society is welcoming today's ruling by the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal, while others like the Assembly of First Nations are not. Uh, can you sort that out for us? Sure. So uh, you'll remember, Dennis, the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal ordered $40,000 for each victim of Canada's discrimination back in 2019, and that was upheld by the federal court. Um, so Canada should have paid those amounts, but it chose not to. It decided to strike this class action deal. And the, you'll remember the ministers going out there and saying, we're going to give people not only $40,000, but we're going to give them more and we're going to compensate more people. All of that sounded like good news. Mm -hmm. But when everything was done and the final settlement agreement was inked, it turned out that some children, actually quite a few, who are entitled to $40,000 under the tribunal's order would get zero under the final settlement agreement. And a, l a large number of other victims would uh, see their amount reduce from $40,000 down to $20,000, and still others, the entitlement was uncertain. So we didn't think this was fair. Like the ministers were clear that $40,000 was the floor. And uh, that's what should happen. Canada should pay those folks and then improve the situation for so many other people. And so that was the issue before the tribunal. And the tribunal saying, like we've said, there's lots of good things in that final settlement agreement. And Canada should move forward with that final settlement agreement. But it, it can't leave people behind. You can't take checks away from children in care um, and call that justice. Like these people are legally entitled to the $40,000. So we want to make sure that they, they're included and that their rights are respected. This uh, has been touted as the, the largest class action settlement in Canadian history. Today you're, you're being vilified by the Assembly of First Nations and the Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs, naming you personally as delaying this compensation. The acting grand chief of AMC going so far as to say, quote, in Cindy Blackstock's eyes, no child matters. Well, what do you make of a statement like that? Well, I'm disappointed to hear it, but um, my focus is actually on the children. And the key thing to, for everyone to remember is that it's Canada that owes the compensation to these victims. And I think that uh, it's in our interest to make sure that every victim gets, comp gets compensated. And it's, it's not a good message if it's us as First Nations saying to a child, yeah, you had a $40,000 check, but we're going to take that away from you and leave you behind. That's not the kind of work we all want to do. And I, I really want to support um, the AFN and any, everyone else to making sure that we get compensation that's just, but for everyone who uh, is legally entitled to it. Uh, pretty early times here. Everybody's kind of trying to figure out what happens. Uh, where, Cindy, do you think things go next? Well, I mean, the government of Canada has even said today that it wants to, uh, you know, work to resolve this and pay the compensation. So that still looks like it's right on track. And I would just encourage the Canadian government to pay the 40000 to the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal victims. That's tens of thousands of victims, Dennis. They've been waiting over two years, and we've had... I don't know, like two tribunals and decisions and a federal court decision saying pay the money you legally owe to people. Um, that should go out the door ASAP along with supports to communities so to support these victims when they receive the compensation. And then they should also fix the final settlement agreement on the class action side. We're not a party to that, but we certainly support any effort to compensate more people and to give even the CHRT victims more than $40,000. Cindy, we'll leave it there, but I'm sure we'll be talking to you about this uh, in the not-too-distant future. Appreciate you giving us some of your time. Hey, thank you for having me, Dennis. Bye-bye.